The city of La Crosse is celebrating Indigenous Peoples Day, and people came from near and far for the festivities. WEAU's Dashiell Menzel has more on the celebration that was full of music, games, and food. Now, therefore, I, Ms. Reynolds, Mayor of the city of La Crosse, do hereby proclaim October 14th, 2024 as Indigenous Peoples Day. The 2024 Indigenous Peoples Day celebration in La Crosse kicked off with the flag raising of the flag of the Ho-Chunk Nation. The celebration featured many games, vendors, and other Indigenous activities. Ho-Chunk member Tracy Littlejohn says the day is important for celebrating Indigenous culture. We've got so many people from different places that are here visiting us, and they're just going to have a whole day of wonderful things to participate in, to see, to purchase, to taste all day long and so I just love seeing that more and more people are interested in what we have to provide and to explore with everyone as far as indigenous culture in this area. One tradition that is important to indigenous culture is a game that dates back to the 12th century, lacrosse. Last year it was the first time that our traditional lacrosse game had been played on the waterfront like this in over 200 years. So it was a really amazing experience and we've got it going on again today. Lieutenant Governor of Minnesota Peggy Flanagan is one of many who made the trip to lacrosse. Flanagan is the first female indigenous lieutenant governor in United States history. For her, this day is a celebration of indigenous people in the past, present, and future. The native cultures, uh, native communities are such a strong part of Wisconsin, but also such a strong part of you know, our neighboring uh, state of Minnesota. And I think visibility really matters. Um, and that's what today is, is all about. Flanagan hopes that events like this will continue to bring more awareness to indigenous culture. I think it's really exciting when we have native and non-native people, um, especially young people, uh, together learning about um, each other. Uh, this is, I think, really a reflection of valuing that and having our young people know on whose land they live and that, you know, native people are still here. In La Crosse, Dasha Menzel, WEAU 13 News. Thanks, Ashel. And in Wisconsin, Governor Evers designated the second Monday in October as Indigenous Peoples Day for the first time back in 2019. And then in 2021, President Biden formally commemorated the holiday with a presidential proclamation, becoming the first U.S. president to do so.